from the outset, I've always been interested in philanthropy um, because I believe that business must be a force for positive change in the community in which you work. So I, I don't really pursue what some people call corporate social responsibility. Um, I've, I've never stopped to think of it in that way. <clears throat> what I pursue is using the resources that are, at a, that are available to me through business to help people in need and to address this, the urgent social needs of our time. I think the first thing that people need to appreciate about philanthropy is what philanthropy is not. <clears throat> no, philanthropy is not charity. It's not about giving away money. Uh, there, is a, there is a place for charity, but when we're talking about philanthropy, we're talking about addressing uh, fundamental issues and looking for solutions. The private sector in Africa uh, is very active, perhaps even more than you would uh, have in developed countries because the pressure on us to address issues in the society, issues of poverty, issues of inequality, we are constantly being asked for assistance. And the more successful you are, the, the greater the, the requests come through. I think what one needs, so that often creates a kind of charity mentality in responding. Whereas we like to approach things in a very strategic, methodical way. When you educate young people and someone walks into your office and says, you know, I'm now a doctor. And, the, and you saw them when they had lost their parents and you were their only hope. And they're coming and say, I'm a doctor, I'm an engineer, I'm a teacher you know that you are building the pillars of a society. Now, you know, some of the people that we have supported will go on to be great entrepreneurs, great educators, great ministers, even leaders of nations. Uh, these are, this is a generational undertaking, so you don't really look uh, in terms of, you know, what are our achievements? We, when we look at 200,000 that have completed their education through our programs and they're now working around the world, you know, that, that's very satisfying. My wife and I have always worked on our philanthropy together. And we've worked on our philanthropy from a time when I probably employed less than 50 people. 5,000 people plus later, we are still in philanthropy. It's a family thing for us. These are the issues we discuss. We discuss the problems in the society in which, in, our, in which we live and the challenges in the global environment, including things like climate change. And so we've raised our children uh, to, to believe that this is why we are in business. Uh, so it didn't surprise me that when my, even though my daughter, the, my eldest daughter studied banking and finance, she still decided to come to go and do a, a master's degree in, in social entrepreneurship uh, and trying to understand the tools of effective philanthropy. Because um, there are a lot of philanthropists out there, but not all philanthropy that is taking place is effective. Uh, and we ourselves are, uh, are always learning. So, you know, we have six children, so we hope that, they, that all of them will find their own area of comfort, even as they begin to go out into the world and build their own uh, uh, careers. If you really want a legacy, 
if you want to uh, lay down the foundations in which people remember you for the right reasons, then philanthropy is the way to go. Not knee-jerk reactions to give away money, but real systematic area, identifying strategically what you're good at and how you can work with others, sometimes even to, to, to push that through.